European experts say they've used a popular technology to develop a medical procedure that could be life-changing for millions of people. Naomi Ruckham is here with more. Naomi, good morning. Good morning, Dana. That's right. Researchers used implants with Bluetooth technology, the same that's in your phone, to help a paralyzed person walk again just by thinking about it. For over a decade, the steps you are seeing were physically impossible for 40-year-old Jurjan Oskam. 12 years ago, I got an accident and had a spinal cord injury. His legs were fully paralyzed and his arms partially paralyzed. But today, he is back on his feet using a walker, thanks to a so-called digital bridge between his brain and the nerves below his injury. Within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, hips. When Oscom thinks about walking, electrodes on his brain relay the message to electrodes on his spinal cord. This signal is wirelessly transmitted by a computer that Oscom wears in a backpack, which then sends the information to a pulse generator on his spine. Our idea was to re-establish this communication with a digital bridge, an electronic communication between the brain and the region of the spinal cord that is still intact. In a 2018 trial, an implant was placed in Oscom's spine. While he saw improvements, his progress plateaued after three years. That original spinal implant is currently paired with two disc-shaped implants inserted into his skull. Now, when Oscom thinks about walking, the skull implants detect electrical activity in his brain. The patient has first to learn how to work with his brain signals. And we also have to learn how to correlate this brain signal to the spinal cord stimulation. After around 40 rehabilitation sessions using the brain-spine interface, Oscom can now walk short distances without the device if he uses assistance, allowing him to regain his independence one step at a time. I can really build functional things from it. To just an example, I'm training 10 years to stand up with a friend having a beer. And that's uh, something I think people don't realize. Another bit of optimism. Oscom's doctors say not only did he regain control of some of his muscles, but they also noticed the growth of new nerve connections. Amazing. Guys? Oh, unreal. Groundbreaking. I remember Christopher Reeve imagining this would help him in his life uh, after he was paralyzed. And here we are, it's some 25 years later. Slowly but surely, getting yeah. there, yeah. yeah. Wonderful.